my name is George Jeffrey Megan and I'm here at the funeral of Peter Colts who went to school with my brother and I represent my brother Anthony Jeffrey Megan. Uh, Peter was born in Raynham. Peter uh, was initially at Raynham School, Raynham Secondary Modern School where Anthony and they shared the same the same classroom I do believe and they had two boys who we will meet shortly uh, and I'm very honoured that Faith would call me to represent Anthony and to represent also Raynham um, at this uh, very excellent farewell to the beloved Peter Cubs. A message, message for Anthony, uh, Faith. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello Tony, it's nice to hear, speak to you on the phone, hope you're having a, a happy life and I'll keep in touch with George to see how you're getting on. Okay, <laughs> God bless, bye. And I never ever once heard the word Peter without hearing the word faith. You were an extraordinary couple <laughs> via Austrian Cycling Adventures. His brother is Andrew Scott Valley. How far can you run? In 2017, I did the Leadville 100, so it's a 100 mile run. Good Lord. Good Lord. But, uh, I, did, I did a walk, not quite as long as your walk, the Camino de Santiago. There's a movie with Martin yeah, Sheen. Yeah, yeah. That's what inspired me to do that. Like, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. How long did it take you? About six weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Magical, magical. You and me will have to do something. Run with the bulls somewhere down there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Walk through yeah. 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 Not being followed by a bull. <laughs> well, if I... If I if I get, can get the energy back together, I'll, I'll let your mother know and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe I can do some, I want to do some races in the Philippines. They have, they have a lot of nice... Uh, well, then you catch Anthony and I'll get Anthony's address and I'll send it through to mother okay, as, yeah. as I have her telephone and everything. And very nice to meet you and, and thank you for the wonderful poem. Yeah, I, was four years old. A lot of people came up to me afterwards and said they had to study that poem at school. And it's like, oh. We did it at Wakely Road School. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. First, until I read that, it was the first time I'd heard of it. So it was, uh, it was kind of oh, it's yeah. world, world famous here. Yeah. John yeah. John Macefield, very distinguished poet laureate. Yeah. Daniel, how are you? I thank you for your wonderful words. And oh, thank you very much. Your father surely upset the NHS by not seeing them for seventy years. <laughs> <laughs> what a healthy, healthy man! Bad. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He um, did say he had a medical when he was at Raycol in, so he must have been in his late twenties, early thirties, and there was no, um, there was one sheet of paper in his medical notes. <laughs> Oh, I'm always troubling and <laughs> keeping the brain in order is my issue. <laughs> How are you anyway? Um, get it, getting old. I'm astonished to be old. You know, you, you turn around once, turn around twice, and and you're already in the end game of life. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to send this to Anthony. So uh, you got a message for Anthony? Well, we, um, um, I hope he's very well, and uh, hopefully we will see you soon when he's. Back next in the UK. Uh, yes, uh, yeah. I've got linkage with your mother, right. so we can work out those Something. details yeah. there. Yeah. But it was a, a brilliant uh, analysis of your father. He would have been immensely proud I hope so. uh, of the, the wonderful words yeah. that you illuminated. His really very remarkable oh, life. Thank you. That's very kind. That's very kind. Yeah. Uh, and I was so impressed with the musicality of the service, the selection yeah. of the of the. Um, the word uh, say is service, duty, and nobility, mm. and it just fits exactly, Peter. Yeah, yeah, Peter yeah. Coates. Yeah. Did you get involved with electronics to the level that you have dad? No, no. And I had to do a um, when GCSEs or the O level equivalent. I did GCSE electronics, 
I had a project to do. Yes. And it didn't work. So I, I brought you home for Dad to sort of fix, basically. <laughs> so my, my GCSE electronics is uh, purely down to my father saving me at the 11th hour. So, um, yeah, yeah. I've got my brother Anthony's reports and his father, Jeffrey, said in his view he should be caned. <laughs> <laughs> and it's written on the school report. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, it's funny enough, I was talking to my friends, and he's got into electronics. And he said to me, "Oh, it's, it's quite difficult electronics." So his background is sort of mechanical. And I said, "Well, I, I wouldn't have the patience for it." I said, "Dad, is very methodical and he's very patient. So when he he, he, he didn't mind spending an hour working this." And problems. Yes. I'd throw the thing out the window and like, you know, <laughs> um, that would be my attitude. Yeah. yeah. This is John Coates, the, uh, and I know your mother and father so very well. And and your your mother came and met Janine and came to the wedding in Swalman when Anthony was married for the first time. Uh, 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 and mum was a part, your mum was with my mother. Yeah, yeah, much a part I mean, of she, they always went on holiday together on various, uh, you know, uh, abroad various times. Uh, yeah, great, great friends, and, and uh, he began in Raynham Radio. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and that Peter was also a volunteer life lifeguard. Life bomber. What an honour that is. He's in the same class as Anthony at, uh, at Orchard Street. At Orchard Street, yes. Right. And you, you also... I was in the same class in um, Wakely Road. Oh really, Wakely Road. Yeah. Went to Wakeley Road School, Orchard Street, and Meerdale, on the corner of Sto uh, the corner of Tufton Road, Solomon Road. There. Yeah, yeah. And I pass your home where you grew up, almost every day. And I always think of Mr. and Mrs. Coates, right. and now I'll think of, uh, of, of the boys. Yes, I. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Classes to move down to, um, to, to Wakeley. Uh, you, you both look rather like your father, who gave me a reference when I came back from the Americas, and he said, made the best of his chances. He wrote on it on his rather Edwardian style letter that he gave to me. I, I think it's like his father. Yes, very yeah. much, isn't it? Uh, Yes. Yeah, yeah, indeed, yes. And the the sign outside in Station Road, the chemist, Mr. Coates, MPS. I, I always noted that. And on, and on the top row were the what's the chemist yes. at the same period as Dad. Beverages. Beverages. Yeah, they, they were the three, yeah. I had a memory <laughs> I remember the old stuff. I, I can remember, I can't remember. If I go into a room, I forget why I'm there completely yes. yeah. and have it's to go out and think, yes. well, what was all that about? <laughs> so you still live in Wakefield? Yes, I'm back at Mother's house in Taswell Road. And we began in Russell Avenue and then crossed the railway lines when they were built by the council when Anthony purchased the house. Uh, and I, I'm his kind of his tenant, I suppose, at this point. He sends his very warm wishes to everybody. He's, ba he's based outside Manila in the Philippines.